Hello everyone, in this series of videos, we'll be talking about clock tree synthesis. So the word clock by itself tells us a lot of things. In our day-to-day -day life, we use the clock to plan our day-to-day -day activities. Similarly, the clock is used on a chip to plan various functionality of the chip. So for example, the word, the, when we say clock tree synthesis, it, it actually means uh, the following. So we have this complete chip, we have a square chip. Usually when you, when you open up a, open up a mobile phone or any, uh, any device, you see a square, square shaped chip. It could be a rectangle also. Well, let us generalize the things and keep a square shaped chip over here. So on this chip, you have this clock endpoints, all these white spots that you see. These are nothing but your flops, your flip flops, the clock pins of the flip flops. This all these white spots are the flip flops of your uh, are the clock pins of the flip flops, and these clock pins are spreaded around the complete chip. This the, the count that I have shown over here are very handful. On a real chip, you will have like millions of flops. So this particular uh, so so the job of the clock tree synthesis is to take this particular clock who has got this entry point at the bottom of the chip and supply this particular clock to each and every clock endpoint.